Have you ever imagined a world where creating high-quality video content is as simple as typing a few words? Well, that future is now thanks to Google VO. Imagine yourself as an aspiring filmmaker with a grand vision but limited resources. Traditionally, creating even a short film required expensive equipment, a crew, and countless hours of editing. But now, with Google VO, all you need is a creative idea and a text prompt. I remember when I first heard about VO, it sounded too good to be true. Yet here we are, at the forefront of a revolution in video creation. VO's ability to generate stunning, 1080p videos from just a few lines of text is nothing short of magical. And the best part? This is just the beginning. In this video, we'll dive into how VO is changing the game from its technological advancements to its potential applications. So, stick around to see the future of video creation unfold before your eyes. And while you're here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an update on the latest in AI technology. Google recently unveiled VO, their brand new AI model for video generation, and it's looking to be a serious contender against OpenAI's Sora. So, what makes VO so special? Let's break it down. First off, VO can create 1080p video clips up to a minute long from just a text prompt. You just type in what you want, and boom, you get a video. And it's not just any video. VO can capture different visual and cinematic styles. We're talking about everything from beautiful landscapes to dynamic time lapses. Plus, it can even make edits and adjustments to videos it has already generated. How cool is that? Demis Hassabis, the CEO and co-founder of Google DeepMind, shared that they're exploring features like storyboarding and generating longer scenes. This means VO might be able to help creators plan out their entire video projects in the future. He also mentioned that they've made incredible progress with video, which is super exciting. Now, you might remember Google's previous work in video generation with their Imogen 2 models. Those could only create low-res, short clips, and VO is a big step up from that. It's competitive with the top models out there right now, not just Sora, but also those from startups like Pika, Runway, and Irreverent Labs. Douglas Eck, a senior research director from DeepMind, gave us a sneak peek at what VO can do. One example he showed was an aerial view of a bustling beach, and let me tell you, it was impressive. The detail was incredible, from the swimmers to the surf. It really captured the vibe of a lively beachfront scene. So how does VO manage to pull this off? It was trained on a ton of footage, which is standard for generative AI models. They learn from examples to pick up patterns and generate new content. While Eck didn't give away all the secrets, he did hint that some of the training data might have come from YouTube. Of course, this is all done in line with Google's agreements with YouTube creators. Speaking of YouTube, Google updated their terms of service last year to allow more data to be used for training AI models. This means they can use YouTube content to build products beyond the video platform, which has some creators worried. Eck insists that Google is setting the gold standard in ethical AI development. Interestingly, Google has already made VO available to some select creators, including Donald Glover, aka Childish Gambino, and his creative agency Gilga. This move is similar to how OpenAI is positioning Sora as a tool for creatives. Now, let's talk about some of the technical details. VO is described as quite controllable. It understands camera movements and visual effects pretty well from prompts. So if you type in something like Pan Zoom or Explosion VO can generate that. It also has a grasp on physics, which helps make the videos look more realistic. This feature is particularly valuable for genres that rely heavily on VFX, such as science fiction or action movies. VO can do some pretty neat things like mask editing for specific areas of a video and generating videos from a still image, similar to what Stability AI's Stable Video does. And perhaps most intriguingly, given a sequence of prompts that tell a story, VO can generate longer videos beyond a minute in length. And of course, it's not perfect. There are still some quirks to work out. Objects in VO's videos can disappear and reappear without much explanation, and it sometimes gets physics wrong. For example, cars might suddenly reverse in impossible ways. These imperfections highlight the ongoing challenges in developing AI models that can fully replicate the complexities of the real world. That's why VO is still in an experimental phase and will remain behind a waitlist on Google Labs for now. They're planning to bring some of its capabilities to YouTube Shorts and other products as it improves. 
This could allow content creators to leverage VO's advanced video generation features directly within YouTube's platform, streamlining the production process and enabling more dynamic and engaging content. X summed it up well by saying this is very much a work in progress, but it's also the raw material for doing something really great in the filmmaking space. As we delve into the world of VO, it's clear that this AI model is poised to transform video creation. The journey of exploring its capabilities, applications, and implications is ongoing, with new developments and insights emerging regularly. That's all for today's update on Google's VO. What do you think? Are you excited to see what creators will do with this new AI tool? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any updates. As always, stay curious. This is AI Nexus. Catch you in the next video.